through here. I thought this was a really curvy road. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't want to go the speed limit because it seemed really curvy. Isn't it nice to know that at 72 years old you can still be excited about life and can't wait to see what's next? That you can still learn things and be enthusiastic? B, then keep right at the fork. Amarillo, Texas. City driving, not my favorite. We just stopped at Burger King. I've got a Whopper here. And they are nice enough to give me two plain patties for the girls. So we're going to have lunch here just randomly in the parking lot. And then we're going to go on day in the life. Oh, that's a little secret I didn't really give anybody yet. That I use one of my window covers with the velvet on it to cover my dashboard so that it doesn't reflect into the camera as I'm driving. I'm coming apart there. I need to... Fix the edges. Day in the life. Rainy day. All right, I don't want to scare you. Maybe I do. It's day in the life, right? Okay, I'm warning you. I went to the store and I got laundry. <laughs> That's awful. I gotta put all that away before I can even find my bed. I'll show you later. I'm gonna do it.
Keep left at the fork to continue on I-40 East. Oh, she can be so annoying sometimes. Okay. Keep left. I'm keeping left. Today was a little Continue more. on I-40 East for 172 miles. Okay, then you can be quiet. I just turned her down. This is not my favorite. You know, I'd rather be on that boring, boring road where it was overcast and raining and nothing to see. There weren't a lot of cars there. It wasn't traffic like this. I'd rather do that anytime than what you're looking at right now on the screen. This is not joyful travel here. People do this every day. Every, every day. They commute back and forth to work. Oh, I, again, I'm a spoiled brat. The job that I retired from... Wow, did you catch that? I forgot you were here. Okay, time to slow down. Did you see that bus? This is awful. Boy, they've really got it narrowed down by these barriers here. Imagine what this is like in rush hour. It's only just barely 2.30 right now on a Sunday. Mm. I have met people in my life that prefer cities. Well, thank you. Good. You live in the city. Whoa. I know people don't have a choice. Okay. Just stick it to my lane. I'm going slower than everybody else. Just let them pass me. Just let them pass me. Hmm. Looks like people already have my favorite spots here. That one right there where that white car is would be just right for me to back into so I could get out on the driver's side. These are big RV spots here to my right. Boy, look how big this is all the way around. You see those that um, that little fence wall area in dark gray right there? Those were that's where they put their garbage cans. Do not park beside one of those because I did one night, and that was like I don't know middle of the night, maybe one o'clock in the morning. These big old trucks came by, and there were two of them, and um, they were pressure spraying those. It was so noisy. It scared me half to death. And I couldn't even get out of the car. I couldn't move either because they were parked right behind me. So don't park by one of those. I'm going to hang out here for a while, work on a video, and then probably... Go inside since it's nice and cool now. It'd be okay to leave the dogs. I would go inside and have a salad. And when I come out, if there are enough people here, I'll stay here. Don't usually film at night because I don't usually drive at night. I had a lovely dinner at Cracker Barrel and I got the girls some grilled chicken and they can smell it right now and they're anxious for me to stop and give it to them so <clears throat> I was gonna spend the night at Cracker Barrel it felt like old home week it was very comfortable for me there but there were not enough campers there were a couple of car campers uh, there might have been more show up later but it's already 745 so I'm just eight minutes away from a flying J. And it's my favorite kind of flying J. It has a big parking lot. I love my truck stops. Everything you need to survive and they're open 24 hours. It feels a lot safer. Very well lit. For some reason, the uh, Cracker Barrel I just came from didn't seem to be as well lit as usual. So anyway, off to flying J. Not what you expect from a Butterfly Tracks video, but this is where I am. I'm not staying at a truck stop, I'm staying at a Denny's. 
There's a sign right over here. Let me get the window. Oh, the car's not on. There's a sign right over here I want to show you. No parking over 24 hours. Good. I sure don't plan on being here for 24 hours at the Flying J. Actually, <laughs> at the Denny's. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the wonderful comments that you make. Don't forget to give the video a like if you wouldn't mind. See you next time. Bye.